Hi, I am Ishani Banerjee. Welcome to Ideal Molecular. Today we'll be talking about mycobacterium tuberculosis or tuberculosis, the disease. So in Ideal Molecular, we diagnose or detect uh, tuberculosis in the endometrium or the inner lining of the uterus. Tuberculosis can occur in many different organs inside the body and mostly it was found in uh, lungs and you must have also heard that it's associated with pulmonary or lung diseases mostly, but can also be found in blood or bones or joints and other, other different areas inside the body, depending on where the infection is. So diagnosing tuberculosis is one of the main uh, things that have been discovered and it's still going on. The development of the diagnosis procedure is still updating and it's still uh, being validated and developed as we speak, such as uh, staining, or acid fast staining to be very specific and culture methods. But over the recent years, molecular techniques and molecular de detection techniques have been um, developed. One of the bigger ones is nucleic acid amplification test, which is these days turning out to be the gold standard of MTB detection. One of the nucleic acid amplification techniques is developed, which is the nested PCR technique, where you diagnose the MTB genus and the species, there are many other nucleic acid te uh, amplification techniques. Uh, but today we'll be focusing on nested PCR based amplification and detection of mycobacterium. So mycobacterium as a genus is divided into tubercular mycobacterium or mycobacterium tuberculosis complex, in short MTBC and non-tubercular mycobacterium or NTM. It's also called mycobacterium other than tuberculosis or MOTT, but these days MTBC and NTM are the more, more commonly known um, terminologies. So how is PCR different from traditional methods? It, there are evidences that traditional methods have low specificity. The positive predictive value is less than uh, molecular methods and it takes a long time to culture these uh, mycobacterium. One of the bigger reasons why the culture takes a long time is because mycobacterium, the bacteria, is a very slow growing bacteria. And also when you take the samples from the body, there is a nature which is called the posse bacillary nature. The, this term is, it, it means that the load in that sample area, the sample size or the bacterial load in the sample that you've obtained is very low. So culturing takes a lot of time. It usually takes up to six to eight weeks to get a definitive result from the culture. You will get a definite species differentiated culture result, but it will take a long time and also the specificity is significantly low. So to combat all those things, nucleic acid amplification testing has been developed. So basically what you do in nucleic acid amplification testing or nested PCR is you take primers which will, uh, which will detect the mycobacterium genus completely. You take two primers. One primer is nested within the other primer. There is an outer primer and then there is an inner primer. So the outer primer is, is looking at the conserved region of the mycobacterium and the inner primer is specifically looking at the mycobacterium tuberculosis genes. It's targeting those genes which will specifically identify tuberculosis, the species. So with these techniques, the advantage is that it is very, very rapid you will get a result in within hours and you can report in less than a day. It takes less hands-on time and you can detect mycobacterium tuberculosis early on in the infection. So you don't have to wait for uh, the disease to progress or you can, you know, start the screening process early on and you will still find sample size enough for the amplification to um, result in a definitive result. You don't need resampling. You, you you only need one sampling. Also, the sensitivity of the PCR technique or the real-time PCR technique is you can detect or you can get an amplification in less than 10 colony forming units. Like you only need 10 colony forming units and it will still give you the result. It's that sensitive. So key points of nested PCR based nucleic acid amplification test to detect mycobacterium tuberculosis is it's it's fast it's reliable it is evidence based there is many, there are many papers and many researches done to validate this technique you don't need resampling you only need one sampling and you don't need a lot of sample to work with and also you will get a result at the most in, within 24 hours
what we do in ideal molecular is we have been doing screenings for infertility patients so we do as i mentioned in my earlier videos we screen the patients for different infections which might be causing infertility genital tuberculosis is a hidden infection it happens in females more more than males and it will result in pelvic pain painful menstruations or it will even cause infertility which is one of the reasons why we screen for this bacteria before we start with infertility treatment and if it goes undiagnosed and you're living with mycobacterium in the uterus and you get pregnant it might also transfer to the fetus through placental trans transfer that means it can cross the placenta and go into the blood of the fetus and it can also be ingested through the amniotic fluid which is around the fetus and can, it can also cause infections in the fetus and through that it can cause defects in the liver spleen kidneys and lungs and other organs in the in the fetus so it's essential to diagnose mycobacterium tuberculosis as soon as possible and one of the techniques which will help you is pcr or nucleic acid amplification test it's widely known these days mm -hmm. and it's slowly becoming the gold standard so basically nucleic acid amplification test is faster than traditional culture methods or traditional uh, investigations i'm not saying that you shouldn't do these but in conjunction with nucleic acid amplification test the investigation results become more robust and you can make a better prognosis to where the patient is heading it can be in the early stages of infections or even within during the time of infections tb is still going on in the world and is one of the leading infections which is happening in humans so it's better that we take precautions and we detect the organism early on so i hope this gave you some information about uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis and other uh, related organisms hope that you will like this video if you do like this video give us a like and subscribe to this channel if you want and we also have social media it's linked down in the description please do give us a follow there visit the main website which is also linked in the description if you want any information on mycobacterium tuberculosis and you want to read more about uh, the nucleic acid amplification tests and other diagnostic materials i will be linking a few papers down in the description so you can have a look so that was it for today and i will see you next time next time